Hi, welcome. This uh, video is on VirtualBox, and the topic of this video is uh, one one side how to update. But you know there are lots of updates uh, update videos about uh, uh, on Arch Linux. But the topic, the real topic, is the alias. So there will be lots of aliases coming in in the Bash RC. And we're gonna have a look. And the first thing you want to know, if you want to do, is a backup scale. If you want to know what is going to be installed, so if you see an update, I say something like this, and you see a long list. So, oh my God, what list is this? Well, the rest you can't see. All these guys you can't see, but at least you can see what is Arch or Article Linux bringing in. So, from here till here, those are Article Linux stuff. You can keep track of what we provide you. How do you do that? With a backup scale. So settings are written in etc scale. With backup scale, what you've just done is you created a folder. Look at the date, 2020, January 12, 1403. You just created a copy of what's in etc scale in here. Now the fun stuff is it's like before after play uh, a game, right? Um, you just do a copy before the update. Now we update and then you do backup scale again after the update. And you can compare with our beautiful application called Melt. Look at the speed, ladies and gentlemen. It's already downloaded 40 megabytes per second. So that's easy and fun for me. Oh. Have quick, have a quick look at these lines. This means you need to do something. If you see something in here in the terminal and it says etc scale, it means it will not be applied ever unless you do a copy paste from this content to your home directory. You can do it manually, you can do it with melt, or you can do it fast and furious with an alias called scale. And that's what we're gonna do. And we're done. Maybe there are some stuff. So update uh, means that you install the updates from Arco Linux and Arch Linux. If you do take, if that's out of the way and you type a bell, the only things you'll see then, let's scroll back. The only things you'll see then is things not coming from us, coming from AWAR, Arch User Repository. So now you see Vivaldi being updated by Mac AOR being updated. This is by Mac AOR down here. Vivaldi is a browser and Gconf as well. So he's doing his job. Fine, you just do your thing. Now I said we're gonna make a second scale with backup scale again. This time I'm gonna press F12 just to show that it's there. Backup scale, F12, it's gone again. And now I have two. So this is an ideal way to learn what settings have been changed and what will people get in the next ISO in February. The content of this ETC scale thing is gonna be on the ISO. Compare. This is melt. You don't wanna see what's the same, but you wanna see what's different. So we created a stay rolling, etc., etc. We can have a quick look. Some change some conkeys in the meantime. And here we have a separate video for variety later on. I'll make a separate one because there's a new version in town. So the difference in version is the preferences. There is some data missing. These two lines are at this point in time gone in a new version. This is not the new version. Can we see the number of variety in here? Don't think I saw it. Maybe with this number about. So that's the old number. Quit. But like I said, I'll make an, a separate video about it. That's the new number. New application has been updated by Peter. And as a result, he tries to improve his application. We have less in here for choices, but they seem to stay in the config. But that's for another video. 
All right, so variety has changed, great. And article links follows. What's this? I wonder myself. Was well, just a placement ratio, some number, and all that. Okay, that's uh, not from us. And then this, well, it is from us. Yeah, no, okay, it is from us. And then we have the badge RC latest. That's what's interesting, right? These are the new things. And there are also stupid things like you see here the tap and spaces. Okay, fine, no problem, tap and spaces. But this is already something that we need to explain. PS and PSA. So the thing is, maybe we should do some things first. Um, what have we done until now? Backup scale, right? So after an update, you do a scale, you do a CB, and that's what we've not done yet. We do a CB, and CB is another alias, which is going to copy paste over the latest bash RC over to, uh, well, from each scale to us, right? But we improved CB as well. So if I do a CB again and ask alias CB, it should give me something else, but it doesn't at this point. Hmm, thinking, scale should be K, CB then. And now we should ask for the alias. All right, now it's okay. So now you see we have improved CB as well. It, it will work just fine if you have the old one, don't worry. But it is an improvement nevertheless. This one starts from ETSQL bash RC latest. This one starts from bash RC latest. If you don't do a scale before the CB, you run into problems well problems you have one uh, uh, alias less that's not a problem the thing is this is more secure it starts with the bash rc latest and goes then all the way till the end so this is a better cb to create basically so b cb is copy the bash we're gonna go back uh, talk about that again in another video later on with zsh and you see some information already about ZSH. So in here we see CB and CZ. So copy bash and copy ZSHRC. So a new alias has been given, but like I said, that's when you switch between bash and ZSH, another video. How to get to ZSH? Well, to bash is this and to ZSH is this. And that's the code that's going to be applied meaning that's the one going to uh, change you from bash to ZSH or ZSH to bash. So all these things are new. Oh yeah, the PS, let's not forget it. So PS is this, not this look. No, 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 this is PSA look, PSA look. I need a PS look. So that's not correct. I think it's not correct. Let's have a look. Let's see at our folders here. Home Eric. We have bash RC and bash RC latest. These two guys should be compare exactly the same thing. Control find PS is here and PSA. That's correct. So the only thing left to do, I think, is source me the bash RC. So let's be really sure we had to get the last thing. That's the better look. That's the, the look it should give. So after reboot, everything would, would have been fine. But now it is. So PS. That's the normal look that people expect if they type PS. But we had an alias who changed the appearance of PS. It changed it to this one. So rather than using PS, which is an, a real command, we're gonna use PSA, which gives us this. You see it already. So it gives us a more detailed information, more three-like look of what's what's happening. This one is started and then this one is dependent on that one and that one and so on. So, all right, CB has changed, PS has changed, is PSA now. We'll talk about these guys later on, ZSHRC. 
Rip and Rip Long is also a good one, thanks to the input of ZVR43. Good ideas are immediately important in Article Linux. Nice numbering system in front of it. And rather, we had 100, I believe, before this. So we're gonna take 200. You can see, still see it here. Tail 100, tail 200. But the other idea he gave us was a rip long. Because sometimes you really need to go back. What did I install? When did I install? When did it break? Ah, yeah, we need to downgrade, for instance, today. Uh, we need to downgrade um, catfish. That's a, a tool to search on XFCE. But we have 15 desktops, so you might not uh, see it ever. So, rip long, longer, 3000. And you see we're not reaching the 3000. It's uh, all the way down, 1170. So this is the last thing we've done, and it's indeed correct. I'll scroll back in, in the video. We've updated this one, that one, and all the rest. We've done that, those uh, updates. Now this um, probably gonna merit a different kind of um, video. I believe I've made already a video about this guy, but this one needs an actual key that will not work. If you install applications, the developers sign a package with a key. And if Pac-Man doesn't know the key, it says, what's this? And you can't install it. So this one, this one actually, is to retrieve the key. So that's the story, what I, what I was talking about, is this line. So retrieve me the key from X person. And you see then this Pac-Man gives us a strange hexadecimal kind of thing, 10 uh, characters long. That's the one you need to copy paste behind it. And it's going to re retrieve it for you this thing and the gpg check has been explained already that's in regarding with the isos that we've made uh, there is a dot sig file there and that's in that context you can use gpg check verify signature for isos some spaces so taps and spaces and that's it so that's an alias for you some aliases are new in the meantime we already also have made a update video which we cannot have enough so everybody feels um, comfortable with updating and how it's it's done and basically all i need to do is now uh, have fun because everything is up to date up all all right have fun using the new aliases